In physics is a very important concept which has recently been dubbed the angel particle. One of the great things about the Majorana fermion, which is the official title for the angel particle, is that it has a wide range of varieties because of its stability. That combining of matter and antimatter makes it a very stable kind of particle. In the field of quantum computing, these particles are very stable, and that could mean that they're useful for building the qubits that carry the quantum information in a stable way. But they could also be really useful in astrophysics and cosmology. There's a huge amount of matter that's missing in our catalog of what the kinds of matter are out there. So in economics, there are these creatures called angel investors. An angel investor is somebody who is an early round investor that takes a leap of faith on a new startup before they have perhaps a formalized business plan or any revenues, perhaps too early to get funding from a bank or a venture capitalist. The closest equivalents of angels in Asian or East Asian cultures are a group of beings called bodhisattvas in Buddhism. They are very advanced practitioners who decided to delay their spiritual enlightenment in order to help others out of compassion. These bodhisattvas appear in many different forms. Some of them have uh, multiple arms, multiple heads. Uh, that's a way of showing their ability to help many people at multiple times. In their imaginary ideal realms, artists used angels as intermediary figures that could mediate between us and the divine. So here we might think of the two cherubs at the bottom of Raphael's Sistine Madonna. They play a crucial role in the painting in breaking down the picture plane. They seem to have just flown down and perch on this stone ledge which belongs to our world. They function to connect us to the figures of Madonna and Child above. And it's in part because of this connecting role that still today they're among the most popular motifs found on holiday cards. The city of Los Angeles was founded in 1781 by a group, Los Pobladores, the people who came to found the city, a group that was almost entirely mestizo and mulatto mixed race, much like Los Angeles is today. And they named the city El Pueblo de Nuestra Señora de la Reina de Los Angeles de la Porciúncula. That's a mouthful. So since then, people have just choose Los Angeles, Los Angeles, the city of angels. Happy holidays to you and your family from all of us in the USC Dornsife family.